with the heat index. So number one, Steve Brown is back deep for the Dragons. He, he takes the kickoff up over the 10, jammed up at the 15, trying to break it outside, reverses his field, and he's going to be dropped at the 5. Tried to make something out of nothing, and something just wasn't there. Nice contained by the Eagles, led by Ryan Polisi, number 21, on the stop. So Eagles did a nice job of swarming Brown. You don't, you don't want to kick to Brown because Brown's one of the fastest kids in the state. We'll talk about him tonight and all season long. Yeah, he was a transfer from Grand Blanc, and, uh, boy, they like his speed. He splits out to the left. We'll get a look at the new Dragon offense. Kyler Carson's a quarterback. He gets back in the kind of a pistol formation. Naz Lardell is the tailback. He gets the carry. I don't think that is Nars. Who is that? Number 25, Jake McCoy on the carry. Lisi on the stop once again. He made the tackle uh, amongst others on the kickoff. He makes the first tackle, the first play of the game. And that's so, so much. Once you get that first hit out of the way, the nerves are gone. Two wides. Steve Brown on the handoff. He gets up over the 10 to about the 13. And we have a flag down. First flag of the season. Cardamone on the stop for the Eagles. You saw the flow as Brown came in motion. You saw the quick flow by the Eagles defense. Did a nice job of keeping them for a couple yard gain. It's a procedure call against the Dragons. So that'll come back five. The ball will be marked on the seven. Oh, no, they marked it back on the six. They'll repeat second down, call it second and ten, the way the stakes are, the, uh, the stakes are set up. Handoff up the middle. Jake McCoy again on the carry. He's up over the 10 to about the 12 or the 13. It'll bring up third down and three. Nice uh, run off tackle by that uh, nice hole opened up by that Lake Orion offensive line. Look, we're going to be talking about them all season long. A lot of experience returning for the Dragons. Naz Lardell and C.J. Witt are in. Witt's in the backfield. Nardell set up on a wing right on third down. Witt in motion. Kyler takes a snap. Back, looks. Throws on the right side toward Nardell. Little high and incomplete. That's a long throw by Carson, and, and you know, Nardell's over in that flat area, and he's looking into the sun, too, and so not only was the ball thrown high, but uh, the sun was there as well, but the Eagles were there. Uh, they would have made the play anyway had the ball been caught. It's that time of year. Zach Jones is the punter. He's lined up in his end zone. Back deep is number one, Aiden Ives for Eisenhower. Good job getting it away. Fair catch fouled and taken on the 40 of Lake Orion. So the Eagles will take over first and 10 with good field position. Today's game is a copyrighted presentation of Lake Orion High School's Dragon Broadcasting Program and Orion Neighborhood Television. A couple years ago, the LOHS Broadcast Program was awarded the title of Best Overall Program in the Country. We brought you over 80 live sporting events and plan to match that again this year. Plus, you can catch our award-winning daily live newscast L-O-A-M. Tune in at www.dragonbroadcasting.org. 
40. First and 10 for the Eagles. They come out trips right, single wide left. One back in the backfield. Preston Crum is the quarterback. Now they set up on a double wing. Hand off to number three, Frank Asta. Number one, Aiden Ives, I'm sorry. He turns the corner and gets up over the 45 to the 46. We talked about it briefly the pregame. Both offensive coordinators are brand new for both programs. Joe Youngblood is the offensive coordinator for the Eagles. Uh, he's got, uh, he was a player there at Eisenhower. He got his number retired, number 17. So he played at CMU and he's gonna be here uh, leading the Eagles this year and beyond. Trips to the left, single wide right. Single back in the backfield. Crum turns, throws. Got Ives, and he's got, he's Crum close to a first lead. down yeah. at the 30. They're going to call it Rolling third down goal. and a yard, or Crum, a half yard. Crum, their quarterback, is a sophomore. So, yeah, he, he played last year as a freshman, but they, because there are so few games last year, uh, you know, he doesn't have a lot of experience under his belt. But he's got good size. The, the roster doesn't show the size uh, of the kid, but look, he's got some good size. You can tell from here. Double wide, double wing, and... Double down. Double down. Trying to see who, who was, who did he say the jo ball? Joey, Joey Thied with the play. And Joey Thied with the stop. It's fourth down. And a long one, and Eisenhower's going for it. Double wide, double wing. Ives is the slot back, he's in motion. Handoff number 27, he didn't make it. Dan Salkowski on the run, and he didn't make it. No, it sure. Naz Lardell. Yeah, it sure looked like it from here. Off tackle was open. All of a sudden, Lardell comes in, makes a play, trips him up. Lake Orion takes over on downs. The Eagles turn the ball over on downs. Lake Orion takes over near their own 31. It's first and 10. So the Dragons take over first and 10. Kyler leads him out. Nas Lardell will be in the backfield. Dorian Hill split left. Double wing. Motion this side. Taken by number seven, Donovan Blackwell breaks a tackle. Up to the 40, up number four. Jack Wellman. First game jitters for me too. Jitters, you're a seasoned veteran. Ah, you, know, well. you know, seasoned veteran, uh, but nice play by the Dragons. A big gain of nine for Jack Seven Wellman. Down. The quickness and the speed that Lake Orion likes the, the, from their skill position, guys. We're going to see a lot of that. We've already seen multiple guys carrying a football. This is like we talked yep. about in pregame. Number 17, Billy Robertson is the back. He gets a handoff. He's up the middle over midfield into Eisenhower territory. That was some speed. Yeah, he hit the hole quick, Roberson did. Hit the hole quick in that little trap and a big first down. First time the ball's over midfield in this game for the Dragons. We'll let you know that the first quarter of action is underwritten by Paul's Carpet Shine. The privately owned and operated company provides residential and cleaning services for the Orient area. For more information, give them a call at 248-568-9264. And we'll give them the website after this play. Roberson again, gain of about three down to the 46. It'll bring up second down. I know we're up here in the box, but uh, we talked about weather being a factor. They're, both teams are gonna have to really focus on substitutions substitutions, making sure the kids are hydrated, obviously, properly, and so forth. Uh, this is where depth, even early on in the season, is a big factor in this game. Single wide, double wing, motion. Kyler on the keeper, cutting around the right side. He's got a first down and more. 
down to about the 32 yard line. And Chris, you noticed that the Eisenhower defense all caved in at the center of the line. And he the edge by number 10, Dorian Hill, to spring Kyler Carson for a bigger gain. First and 10 for the Dragons from the 32, 7.08 to go here in the first. No score. One wide, double wing, single back in the backfield. Now motion this side, taken again by Jack Wellman. He gets maybe a yard to the 31. By the way, Paul's Carpet Shine, you can visit their website at paulscarpetshine.com. Second and nine. Single wide right. Joey Debrinkett splits a little bit at the, from his tight end position. Roberson again down to the 21. He's got a first down for the Dragons. Roberson hitting that hole quick once again. And I, you can see it right here. Look at the down block. Boom, there's the hole right in there. Keep his, look at that body lean, that leg drive. All right, Roberson, first down, Dragons. He takes a breather. Naz Lardell comes in at the tailback position. This offense is gonna run predominantly out of the pistol or the gun. Lardell on a handoff, breaks a tackle. Gets inside the 20 down to the 19. That's kind of a thunder and lightning with the thick bodied Lardell and Roberson, who's kind of the lightning guy. Inside, outside, threats. Trips to the left. To bring it set up on a wing right. Toss over. First down, number 22, CJ Witt. Down to the 10, it'll be first and goal. Raymond Payne and Jack Wellman on the edge help set that play up. Nice block. To allow that gain of nine. Seven, seven, excuse me, seven. I can't do my math. That's another thing I got to get better at, math. Stephen Brown comes in in a slot position. They have trips right to bring it on a wing left. Toss back to C.J. Witt. Gets maybe a yard. I'll tell you what. Uh, Lake Orion's going to have to account for number 48, Dominic Ferraro. He's been in on three of the last four plays uh, making tackles. And so it was not a first down on the previous play, and it is now. First and goal for the Dragons, 430 to go here in the first. Dragons knocking on the door. Naslar Dell is the back. Inside handoff. Steve Brown, touchdown Lake Orion Dragons. Flag on the play on the we far side. We have a flag. Yep. I think this is going to be called back on a procedure call. So that'll bring it back five, illegal formation. And it'll be first and goal from the 15. It'll bring it back five, but also take six off the board. It does take six off the board. And this is all part of it, and Coach Blackstock touched on it. It's learning a new offense. You can see all the, the misdirection, the counters, the different people getting the ball. It's, it's, uh, it's to work on that. You know, Kyler Carson in the, pre, in the preseason talked about, uh, preview, talked about the installation of this offense, and they got to it fairly early this year, and he felt that was really good for them. 
but that installation has got to continue to work, play in, or week in, week out in practice. Uh, they're going to always refine it each and every week. And so uh, we're going to this. Naslar Dell takes it right up the middle, banging heads. That's just power. Down to the six. It'll be second down and goal. It's power and it's good vision. You gotta be able to stick that foot in the ground and be able to take it north towards the end zone. Kyler on the toss back this to is Stephen where... Brown. Trying to cut it out in. Touchdown Lake Orion Dragons. He got it anyhow. That was speed, that was will, that was effort. Welcome to Lake Orion, Stephen Brown. How about that? How about that? It was individual, wasn't going to be denied there. CJ Witt on for the extra point. Ball is down, kick is up. And the kick is no good, wide to the left. 3.31 to go here in the first. Dragons lead six to nothing. Thanks to Orion Neighborhood Television and Dragon Broadcasting, you can watch Lake Orion High School sports live online all year. We've got a full schedule of varsity football, volleyball, and more this fall plus concerts and ceremonies. It costs less than $11 per month to watch sporting events, and half of that money goes back to the Lake Orion High School program. Be sure to designate Lake Orion High School when you set up your account. Get started at www.dragonbroadcasting.org. Orion Neighborhood Television thanks our student crews for their hard work and dedication to bring Dragon Sports to the world. And I'll tell you what, the world, the world just saw a good drive by the Dragons and the definition, as you said, of will by Stephen Brown. You can see it here once he gets the edge there. How he stays in, great camera work, great touchdown. Joe Johnson on the spot as always. You know, one of the things the officials are doing right now, we're not in an NFL game where this is a TV timeout. They're actually taking time to allow the kids to rehydrate, take a break while it being so hot out here. So uh, smart decision by the officials. Uh, obviously, they're going to be doing that all night long. And health and safety of these kids is, and coaches, for that matter, is, is first and foremost. So Speaking with the trainers before the game, and we have a, a trainer on loan to us from Beaumont, uh, forgot it, Gary, and I forgot his last name, but he said that they were telling the players, as we used to, start hydrating about four days before the game. Drink as much water as you can. So Jake Lee, number 15, will kick off. Low line drive kick, hits at the 10, and goes out at the seven. That'll be a procedure call, and Eisenhower will take over first and 10 at the 35, 30, 30 yard line. This is, yeah, at the 30. And the 35. I like the uh, official being mic'd up tonight. It's a first for Lake Orion. Crumb from the gun. Throws out this side to number four, Ethan Barker. He gets about Five, they're calling it three up to the 38. Barker, and Mark back to the 37. Excuse me, Doug. Barker's a kid that they're going to go to quite a bit. He's been a, a good four, a three year uh, wide receiver for the Eagles. Uh, nice play by Andrew Horton there to funnel him back into the sideline and make the play and make the tackle. 
Second and eight. Crum back, looks, throws. Caught and dropped. Ethan Strand right there to bring. After a gain of about two, it'll bring up second and eight. Yeah, Patrick Rowland, number 18, came streaming in, I think tripped him up to, to force that two yard gain. But uh, right now, Lake Orion's got a button down, if you will. Second down and eight. Eric P from it is, is the free safety. We have a flag. That'll back them up five. Our scoreboard for the first half is underwritten by Michigan United Credit Union, the full service financial institution serves everyone who resides, works, worship, or attends school in Michigan. Give them a call at 248-814-4000 or visit their website for more information. Second and 13 for Eisenhower. Crum again, looks, throws. Got a receiver, slips a tackle. Slips another tackle, is finally brought down by Caleb Jones. Shifty running by Cardamon. Yeah, nice, nice. Right here you can see Pakmara come up and try to make the play, and he puts his head down, and he avoids. That was Ethan Barker. And Barker, sorry. Barker's able to avoid. Uh, you got to, it, it shows right there, you got to make sure you're, you see what you hit, right? Yeah, see that, what you hit and wrap up. Yeah, and, and the head was down, that's why you didn't see it. First and goal from the five, twins left, single wide right. Cardamone set up on a wing left. Crum on the carry, drop. Number 24, James Patterson. Number 24, James Patterson, Jr. Came, came over from his defensive line spot, cut in and dropped him. I'm sorry, from his linebacker spot. 30 seconds to go here in the first. The Eagles are driving, twins left, single wide right. Crum looks, throws, corner of the end zone. Touchdown for the Eagles. That was Cardam oh, number number 12, Hayden Bills. Crum did a nice job of throwing that ball away from Andrew Horton, throwing it on the back shoulder, the, the shoulder towards the, the far sideline. Did a nice job of throwing it there. Bills went up and caught it at the highest point. Six on the board for the Eagles. And he did a good job of getting separation too. Cardamone is holding. Number 18, Julian Lee, in for the point after, which is down, up, and good. 19.6 seconds left here in the first. Eisenhower takes a 7-6 lead. Here, here you can see it here. He throws it to the back shoulder, and Bills does a nice job of going up and meeting its highest point just, in, just before Horton got there. Touchdown, Eagles. And this quarter is also underwritten by Jets Pizza. Jets Pizza with two convenient locations in the Orion area. Proud supporters of Orion Neighborhood Television since 2009. Visit them at JetsPizza.com. Well, Doug, after the first two series or first series by each team, which resulted in punts, the next two series by each team resulted in touchdowns. The difference is obviously special teams, right? Special teams. You touched on that in pregame. Dorian Hill and Stephen Brown. Drop back deep for the Dragons. Twenty-nine. Number twenty-nine, Reese Willing, kickoff for the Eagles. Off 
waiting for the official's whistle. He approaches, short kick, fair catch called. Excellent play, good awareness by Philly Roberson. They saw Stephen Brown in action and they decided they're not gonna kick to him. I don't blame him. I, I don't blame him either. No. But the guy that fair caught the ball's no slouch <laughs> either. Right, right. So the Dragons come out for their third possession. Isaiah Marv comes out at a wide receiver position. Dorian Hill stays in at the other receiver position. The wingbacks are Pat Rowland, and I can't see who the other one is. Oh, uh, number four, Jack Wellman. And Lake Orion's going to call a timeout. Yeah, Joey DeBrinkett came in late, and I think they didn't have the right yeah, personnel in, so it, as a result, they, they had to call a timeout. Larry Buss and the crew at Jets Pizza, located at 1091 South Lapeer Road, have been a proud supporter of Orion Neighborhood Television and Dragon Athletics since 2009. Jets supplies catering for cast and crew. Thank you, Larry, for your continued support. Give them a call and order dinner tonight, 248-814-7559. So pretty exciting quarter of action to start the season out for both teams. And we're not done with that quarter. We got 19.2 left <laughs> Yeah. to go here in the first. But no, it's, I'll tell you what, Doug, I, I wasn't here last year. And it's been two years now since I've been back at the Lake Orion for a football game. Uh, and it's, it's great to be back. Look at the people on the far side. Look at the people on the home side. The, the, the dozens and dozens of cheerleaders down here on the track. It's great to see. Hand off up the middle by Jake McCoy. And school hasn't even started yet. No, exactly. Exactly. Legal formation. And you know, these are growing pains. You're going to see this when you're installing a new offense. And that'll get straightened out. That'll be straightened out in practice next week. Especially this type of offense, it's all based on timing, yeah. timing, you know, and, and uh, you know, we've seen that a couple times already, a couple penalties, false starts, legal formation. Um, oh, as a coach, we always talk about that eats at you, right? But uh, you're right, first game, first quarter uh, here the, of this, this brand new season, those things uh, typically are gonna happen. Jonah Fix is the center. Handoff up the middle. C.J. Witt got the penalty yardage back and another four. It'll be second down and about six. A little counter there, and, and, and C.J. Witt is following his big guys up front, Daniel Babcock and Carlo Fortino. I'd follow those guys, too, uh, for a big game. Nice way to end the first quarter for the Dragons. We've played one. The Eisenhower Eagles lead the Lake Orion Dragons 7 to 6. DRS Pool and Spa. Performance zone. Once again, replays are sponsored by Jets Pizza. Jets Pizza with two convenient locations in the Orion area. Proud supporters of OMTV since 2009. Guess what? You can also get and secure DVD copies. You can purchase those by calling ONTV at 248-393-1060. And for only $10, you can get a copy of not only this game, but any game or program in our broadcast vault. Again, DVD copies, 248-393-1060. It's very clear when you come to Dragon Stadium that you know you are at Lake Orion High School. Look at our vantage point. No question. <laughs> yes. I have maintained for years it's the best view in the state. Well, then you look out across the way, too, and you see Lake Orion High School, home of the Dragons, on the soccer field over there. And it's a beautiful sight to see. 
Double wing, single back in the backfield. Maslardell on the carry, pulls his way forward up to the 31. He might have a first down. Sends the tailback now. Hand off to Wellman. Jack Wellman tripped up by Anil. He gets maybe two, Anil on the tackle. You have to be so disciplined if you're the Eagles to be able to watch ball flow. You've got to be able to see, you see motion coming this way. You see the, the dive of the trap back up the middle. You see flow coming, countering back the other way. You've got to be so disciplined and you've got to be able to read your offensive keys if you're on defense. And we always talked about it playing a team that ran the wing tee. Tackle everything. Sure, absolutely. One wide out. Kyler back, got pressure, looks, throws, incomplete. There was not a receiver in the Carson area. Incomplete. He was pressured by I guess Lucy. Roberson was kind of in the, in the area. I saw Debrinkin a little bit, but he was almost five yards downfield. Yeah. But Kyler Carson did a nice job at least getting that away, and, and fortunate for the Dragons, there wasn't that, there wasn't that call. Nick Eaton checks in at a wing position. C.J. Witt is the running back, and Dorian Hill split right. Kyler back, got protection. He's gonna run with it. He's got a first down. And you know why he's got a first down? Because of C.J. Witt on the far side of the field. Uh, all he did was have to do is screen that defender. He did that, and Carson was able to find just enough for that first down, down for the Dragons. First down at the 42. 10.38 to go here in the second quarter. Whip in the backfield. He goes in motion right. Kyler's going to run it. He's down just shy of the 45. Straight run there. I just got to follow Fortino who pulled from the backside. And just, again, you, the offense is designed to take advantage of the strengths of this, this offensive line and the skill position kids. And so that's what you're seeing so far, trying to take advantage of those, utilizing those holes that the offensive lineman can produce. Trevor Witt is the right tackle Jonah Fix now shifts to right guard. Oh, no, he's still the center. Handoff up the middle. Nas Lardell powers his way inside the 45 with a 40 and a first down. Good speed that time. Just bowled over people. Roberson comes in. I'm going to say it once again. In a night like tonight, when it's so warm, so humid, so sticky, it is so critical to be able to rotate personnel in, especially in that backfield. And you're seeing Lake Orion take advantage and do a nice job of just that. That's where the numbers you see on the sideline are so key. The depth is so important. Building a program from freshman level on up, or even younger on up, is so key to the success of a program. Roberson. Breaks a tackle inside the 25, still on his feet and knocked out of bounds. They're going to call him down about the 21. It'll be another first down for the Dragons. Great. And you can see this offense when it clicks. It's a beautiful thing. Great run by Roberson. Way to toe touch down the sideline there. And Eisenhower's going to take a timeout with 9.17 to go here in the second quarter, probably just to get their breath. I think you're right, absolutely. They, they, you know, Lake Orion started this drive at the 21-yard line, their own 21-yard line, and 
Lake Orion is now just taking plays and getting yardage in chunks. And, uh, you know, they're dog tired uh, on the far side of the field. And uh, I can't blame them. I don't, they're probably dog tired on this side of the field too, as warm as it is. I mean, that's the key. The, these kids, these, these programs, you know, I don't think you can ever prepare for acclimatizing your body to, to weather like we've seen this week. And, uh, you know, we don't typically get this type of weather. Um, I don't want to say typically, but you know, very rarely do we ever get it this warm, this humid. And, and there's one of the most important people carrying it out is as kids bringing water. Absolutely. And, well, you know, for years, we always heard Lake Orion. It was almost a running joke. Yeah, they run 90 kids out there, but maybe 18 of them play. Well, you know what? Tonight, a lot of people are going to play football. Absolutely. Absolutely. And they should. And they should. And so, um, but, you know, as, as I'm walking in tonight um, from a 92-degree car, um, I'm, you know, as the Eagles came out from their locker room, and every single kid had their own individual cooler that they were carrying too, yeah. right? In yep. addition to what's already be, being provided by the training staff. So, um, you know, you look down here on the, in the Lake Orion side, on, there's yeah, seven so different the Gatorade coolers down the there. Right. And so Plus the individual coolers down here on the right. Absolutely. Got to stay hydrated. First and ten. Inside handoff to Wellman. Comes up the middle for about five. It'll be second down. They've run that counter really well with, with Wellman. Get that well with Wellman. Yeah, very good. Trying to be, trying to be funny. I, I never made it on that cir circuit, so uh, I'll, I'll refrain. That will be my one and only for tonight. Second down, Dorian Hill splits left. Wellman lines up on a slot right. Looks like Ray Payne comes in motion. Tyler on the carry. He is close to a first down. When, when you have success running up the middle like Lake Orion has with Roberson, all right, you've got the ability to pull and take it and keep it like Carson did that time. You sh if you saw the replay of it, there's two guys that went with Roberson on that yeah. fake, and Carson was able to pull it out and get close to the first down. About the length of a football short. So third and about a foot. High snap, Kyler takes it, got the first down. I tell you what, that was a high snap. Kyler, Kyler Carson did a nice job of bringing it in. But if you saw that play, there was not one white shirt penetration on this side of the 22. I'm sorry, not, not the 22. The 12, wherever they were lined up last. And uh, bottom line, there was no penetration. That surge of that green, that green machine, that green wall, if you will, resulted in that first down, even though Carson bobbled the ball from the high snap. We have an injury timeout. Number 51, Nick Honaker limps off for Eisenhower. This place is taken by Luke Anyal, number seven. You gotta watch even even in the mid, not even the mid second quarter, you've also gotta watch for cramping as well. Yes. It's first down and goal to go near the eight. So first and goal from the eight. Handoff, Roberson up the middle inside the five. Roberson tripped up by Byrne. Rotating both Roberson and Lardell in Second on a fairly consistent basis at single back position. Number 26, Raymond Payne sets us up on a wing left. Wellman on a wing right. Nardell is the running back. He gets a handoff up the middle and he's in. 
Touchdown Lake Orient Dragons, Naz Lardell. And that was power right there. Absolutely. Again, take advantage of what you do well in the backfield, following those big horses up front, lead them into the- Short kick, free caught at the 15 by Cody Raymond. You're calling it the 16. For Eisenhower will take over first and 10. I know typically in a situation like that, that little pooch kick, Roberson did it as well when Ike just kicked off. But uh, that time, you know, Cody Raymond caught that ball. He fair, fair caught it. If you look at it, I know they don't have that return or that call set up. He probably could have gained at least 10 yards had he been aware, but maybe that's what they're taught to do. Just Let's just catch it and get it from where we get it because we don't have that return set up. It's, it's one of those things that if, you know, number one, you're an up guy. You're not used to catching kickoffs. So it's better to fair, call the fair catch and make it, or if you don't make it, fall on it. New quarterback, Luke Eno. Oh, is that number one? Eight knives, I'm sorry. One looked like a seven. He's up the middle and he's got a first down. Yep, he was in at the quarterback running a little wild cat. Yeah, the, the flow, they followed Sikowski from left to right and, and Ives was able to keep it and take it up the middle. Jake McCoy. Same thing right here. There he goes again. Trapped in the backfield, breaks loose. Finally taken down. James Patterson. Drops him for a two yard loss. It's second and calling it second and 11. Yeah, Aiden Ives is their senior, senior uh, does everything for them. You know, wide receiver, defensive back, and obviously now he's playing some quarterback. So they uh, wanted to get in a different rhythm or they just, at least wanted to show Lake Orion a different look. And he's, uh, I was gonna say under center, but he's in the shotgun right now, right? I snap. Hand off up the middle to number 27, Zalkowski. It'll be third down and about six. Salkowski is one of those uh, another players that, that Coach uh, Smith from Mike talked about as being one of their strengths. Another one of their senior players does a nice job. Third and long. Screen. Screen set up, complete and brought down short was Cardmore. Cardmore. Andy Horton on the stop for the Dragons. And that brings up a fourth down and five. Scoreboard, yeah, fourth and five. Number seven, Luke Eno into punt. Stephen Brown deep for the Dragons. Good defensive series by the Dragons. Very good. Snap. Kick, low line Heads drive. Up. Ball is touched. Picked up by Brown. And for a low kick, he got a decent return out of it. Probably 50, 20 yards on the return. I thought that ball was low, so low that it hit Andrew Horton on the head, and and, yeah. um, and then Brown was able to scoop it up. You know what? We have a flag down. We may have an illegal touch. -up. We have a personal foul. Andre, blind side block. Skipping the opportunity. Blind side block on the dragon. So that'll back him up 15. And that's just the kind of thing you're running down there and someone turns and you just run into it. Yeah, them. and you know, it's, it's, it's all about, again, just like tonight is with the, with the hydration and, and making sure enough water. It, it, the rule is put in there for player health and safety. Yes. And uh, 
When it's all said and done, that obviously is the most important thing to come out of each and every game. The kids stay healthy, but have fun and compete while playing. So the Dragons take over first and 10 from their own 38. Lardell's the running back. Car right down. Got pressure. Intended for C.J. Witt, and that was just to get rid of it because he had huge pressure coming up the middle from number 59, Ethan Rakowski. Tell you what, I, they, they might go back to it a little bit later on, but I was watching uh, Stephen Brown from a slot position just run a vertical route, and I'm thinking, oh, my God, he comes off the ball quick and fast. And at some point in time, they're going to have to be looking at that type of play to get we'll that see ball. That. We'll see that. I'm you. sure we will. <laughs> Second and 10. Lardell is the back alongside Carson. Handed off this side to C.J. Witt. He gets about five, and it'll be third down. Did you notice who one of your lead blockers was there? Kyler Carson. Kyler Carson, number five. Yeah, your quarterback. And you, you, you see it right here. Hand off to Lardell, hands back to Witt. And guess who's leading for you? Number five. Didn't want to get a hand on anybody, Dude, but. <laughs> didn't block anyone, but he was out there. So third and four, they're calling it. Kyler throws first down. Complete to C.J. Witt. That's a first down for the Dragons. We've seen it a couple times tonight. The most interesting way to go in motion, backpedal like that. You know, I, I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know that I could backpedal like that and not find myself going towards the line of scrimmage. Something you got to practice, right? It is, <laughs> and you're right. It's something you don't see. Roberson up the middle for eight. Roberson. Quickly. They're going to give him seven. It'll be second down. He hits the hole so fast. Yeah, he, he does. And that, again, that's what you want to do in this type of offense with the misdirection. You want the misdirection to take your uh, the defense's eyes elsewhere so you would be able to run it up the middle uh, on these dives and these traps and these belly plays. Second and three. Roberson again gets maybe a yard was tripped up at the line so yeah. it'll be third down and two yeah ferraro once again number 48 from his linebacker position he's been in on more than a half a dozen tackles so far tonight isaiah marv splits wide left wellman and dorian hill are the wings. And timeout by Eisenhower. There is a whistle on the field. You have Eisenhower calls. That's their second. Dragons still have two. Hey, be sure to turn into tune into replays of your favorite games right here on Orion Neighborhood Television. Tune in Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays at 7 p.m. and Saturdays at 1 p.m. for the most current games in our lineup. Games are also play, replayed throughout the week. So check out our program guide on our webpage at orionontv.org for replay times that best fit your viewing schedule. Also, visit our YouTube link for games on demand. That's at www.orientontv.org.
org. And while we have a break in the action, we mentioned earlier the tur turnover on the coaching staff. Two individuals I'd like to recognize for years of service here, Brad Fisher and Mike Heath. Guys, I wish you all the best. Thank you for your commitment. And first and 10 for the Dragons. Roberson's the back. Stephen Brown on a wing up. And we're going to have a procedure called the Eisenhower lineman jumped. Yeah, because because tight end, tight end Joey Debrinkett went in motion from left to right. And as a result, the right defensive end for the e Eagles moved. And at the same time, then Daniel Babcock, left tackle moved. Yeah. So I would think it's going to be against the Eagles. So they'll sort it out. And you're right. The first time of many, you're right. Thank you. Thank you. So it's first down and five. Oh, th first time of many? Oh, the last time of many. Or last time, I don't know. <laughs> first time of many. Thank you. Thank you. We'll this see about that. First and five. Robeson stays in the running back position. Kyler on the keeper. Up near the first down. He's going to be about a yard short. Number 21, Ryan Polisi on the stop for Eisenhower. From his linebacker position. Matter of fact, he came all the way across. He's playing a left outside linebacker cut in all the way to make the tackle. Kyler, back to pass, got pressure, looks, throws, tipped, incomplete, and Kyler got nailed as he let it go. Yeah, he had pressure and he also threw that ball up where you shouldn't throw it, in the middle of the field with three three white defenders yeah. around him. So Lake Orion was very, very fortunate that that ball was just tipped and knocked, it was tipped up in the air, but no one was there to obviously pick it off. 50.2 seconds to go here in the second quarter. If you're Lake Orion, you gotta get points out of this drive going into halftime. Yes. We don't know what the halftime festivities will be. The marching band is not here tonight. They have been practicing. Jam up at the line, number 36, Devin Steele. He was the ball carrier. He was the there. Backfield. He was there. From his nose tackle position. Made initial contact, but it was Roberson ultimately who wanted it more. And he actually had Carson able to push him along and aid him a little bit to get to that first, first down mark. Lake Orion's going to take a timeout with 42.1 seconds to go. And how Steele didn't end up with the football, I'll never know, because he, he met Kyler in the backfield. Now, isn't that, a, is it, we're not watching, I'm watching the monitor, I'm not watching the field, but isn't that a good sight to see? That is. Student section. To see the student section packed. Beach night tonight, that's the theme. Where's your beach gear? You didn't, you didn't bring the, the, the grass skirt and the, and the, and the, the goggles and the, the snorkel? Well, you know what? We were on camera for, pe for, for pre-game. You really don't want to subject the viewers <laughs> to that. <laughs> oh, that's right. You spent your time all at the beach all summer long, didn't you? Oh, I could only dream. Yeah. Well, you know, some of the golf courses I play, you're not far wrong. That's true. That. That's true. Double wide, double wing setup, empty backfield for Kyler. Got pressure, throws complete to Wellman. Trying to get out of bounds, and he does. Nice job by Jack Wellman. Cut across, made the catch, and then it was just two things. Get the first down, get out of bounds. Was he out of bounds or was it the first down? We're gonna find out right now. Let's see if, he's, if they start the clock. 
So that's what Lake Orion coaches are asking here on the sideline. He was out of bounds, good. He was. Twins left, single wide right. Kyler throws, got a receiver. C.J. Witt down to the one. 27.7 seconds left. There's the crossing route again, same flow. Wellman comes from right to left and then Witt comes from left to right on the cross. And he finds, he, he puts his right foot in the ground and takes it north to the end zone. And close to the end zone, this is the touchdown. Kyler now. runs it in, touchdown Lake Orion Dragons. Kyler Carson has got the mastery of this offense down. He has played very well tonight. It may not show in passing stats, but this offense is not gonna throw the ball a lot. So Jake Lee on for the extra point. Connor McCartan is the holder. Connor's the backup quarterback and Coach Blackstock spoke very highly of him. And we have a flag. So they'll back it up five and retry the point. Now, when I spoke to Coach Blackstock about Kyler Carson, he went out of his way to praise uh, Connor McCartan. He said he has had a good grasp for the offense. Ball's down, kick is up. And the kick is good, 23.4 seconds. Lake Orion 20, Utica Eisenhower seven. Hey, did you know that ONTV has its very own internet radio station? You can create your own podcast or radio show or sign up to become a DJ. For more information on the radio station, give us a call at 248-393-1060. Talking with Sammy Terramina tonight. Uh, he is going to do his podcast uh, next week, and he's invited me to be part of his podcast. Look out. Everything about look out the world. Order. Look Pardon? out Look out world, right? Look out world. Sammy does an excellent job Oh, I know, job I know. It. But now you're going to be part of it. So what is that going to, how is that going to do the? Well, you know, I just play. It, <laughs> it's like working with you. You just play second fiddle to the real <laughs> yeah, stars. Right. Well, that's good. That's exciting. That's good. Just promoting what high school sports is all about, right? I mean, that's, that's great. That's great Sammy to hear. Sammy does his work. He goes to media day. He assembles all the media packets. This one's short and going to get returned and taken down at the 30 yard line by number 24, James Patterson. Was number two, Micah Dickerson. And also, Max Firestein, number 33, also in on the stop. So we'll set the Dragon defense, of course, led by Joey Thede, who was a second team All-State as a junior. Aiden Ives back in there for his second series at quarterback. And they're just gonna take a knee and run the clock out. I, I wonder if something happened to Preston Crum that he hasn't been back in the last two series. I will try to find out from their, their people up here in the booth. We've played a half, the Lake Orion Dragons lead the Utica Eisenhower Eagles 20 to seven. You're watching exclusive coverage of Lake Orion Dragon football. We'll be right back. 